Sachin Deshmukh, working as assistant professor in civil engineering department of Valgenstock Technology. Today, we are going to learn how to find out the discharge through venturometer. Particularly, we are going to derive the equation to find the discharge through venturometer. You are knowing that venturometer is one of the most important application of Bernoulli's theorem. The Bernoulli's theorem, you know it very well, that is energy at section 1, that is pressure, potential and kinetic energy at section 1 is equal to potential, pressure and kinetic energy at second section. But the modified equation says there are some losses. So the losses are added on the right hand side. So the pressure energy, static energy, kinetic energy is equal to the pressure energy, static energy, kinetic energy plus losses at the second section. The best application, the important applications were venturi meter, rotameter, orifice meter, mouthpieces, etc. Here in this topic, we are studying to find out the discharge through venturi meter. And at the end of this topic, you can able to derive the equation for measurement of discharge through venturi meter. And you can calculate the theoretical discharge through venturi meter as well the actual discharge. Venturi, that is Giovanni Battista Venturi, he worked a lot on Euler's equation and as well as Bernoulli's theorem. His primary expertise was fluid dynamics and hydraulics engineering. In his study, fluid flow expanding the work performed by the most generous Bernoulli and Euler and he discovered and explained certain very useful behavior of fluid phenomenon in pipes particularly. Also he worked a lot on increasing the velocity and decreasing the pressure. He has developed one instrument that is this meter and this meter is called as by its name that is Venturi meter. It is the most one of the important practical application of Bernoulli's. You can observe in fluid mechanics laboratory this particular instrument is attached. See this instrument. This is a pipe. This is a pipe. To this pipe here it is the diameter is reduced, the diameter is reduced, here it is the least diameter and then again the diameter is increased. This is a pipe to which at this section, this section we can say it is an inlet section we can say, it is an inlet section, this is an outlet, this is an outlet or we can say it is upstream and this is a downstream. Here in the inlet section, you can see observe here, here the manometer is attached. This manometer is attached. This particular central portion is called as a throat section. This portion is called as a throat section and where the diameter is reduced, see here, the diameter is reduced. This is called as a convergent cone and here you can observe the diameter is again increasing and it is joined to the pipe on the other section or we can say downstream. The other end of the manometer is attached to the throat. Now here clearly we can observe here the velocity is different, here the velocity is different. And you can observe here, here, 
the level of the manometric liquid is going up from this datum level this is the datum level going up this is datum level this section 1 there is the inlet section 2 we can say it is a throat section here we can observe the similar way that we have already studied in the Bernoulli's that is reducing the well, uh, diameter of the pipe velocity increases and pressure decreases the same principle is here and here one more thing in one more thing you can observe over here this figure this particular length is more this particular length of the diversion cone is more why to avoid the cavitation to avoid the cavitation as the cross section is reduced here the velocity will be more and here you can observe that liquid can pass very fastly over here okay so here are the chances of cavitation that's why the length the length of the co diverging cone is always more than the convergent cone now we'll start for the derivation of the uh, theoretical discharge how we can find out it is an instrument that which we have seen used to measure the rate of flow or the discharge in a pipe and often fixed permanently wherever we want to uh, find out the rate of flow we are going to fix that particular instrument in that particular point at the different section of the pipe and uh, maybe uh, uh, the, uh, the venturimeter is horizontal vertical and inclined as per the requirement of the uh, uh, particular setup of that section it consists of that all we have seen first is converging cone central is throat and then diverging cone these are the three important parts and the remaining that is manometer differential manometer is attached to the convergent cone that is inlet section to the throat section to find out the difference of the mercury level that we have written as hm that again we have to convert it into that what the water which the liquid which is passing through that particular meter now pause the video and answer venturi meter is based on integral form of euler's equation you have to say is it true or false and second is venturi meter is used to measure average velocity velocity at a point discharge or pressure at a point these are the answers yes venturi meter is based on integral form of euler's equation venturi worked a lot on euler's equation and then he found the equation to find out the discharge second venturi meter is used to measure discharge rate of flow not this average velocity velocity at point and pressure no venturi meter is used to measure discharge then we'll move forward we'll find out the expression for the rate of flow the same figure just go through this these are the d1 diameter at inlet area at inlet then pressure at section 1 velocity of fluid at section 1 and all these things at section 2 this is both section 1 and section 2 these are noted okay similar whatever the things are there these are at the second section see here we are applying we have selected these two points inlet as well as throat we have selected inlet as well as throat it may be here slightly or here but in the throat section okay here it is a manometer again okay so we are applying the Bernoulli's equation or Bernoulli's theorem to section 1 1 and 2 2 
this is the particular equation Bernoulli's equation this is a pressure head plus kinetic head plus static head is equal to the pressure head plus kinetic head plus static head at different sections section 1 and section 2 as it is horizontal z1 and z2 are same simplify it p1 upon w minus p2 upon w here specific weight is not going to change that's why p1 minus p2 upon w and v2 square minus v1 square upon 2g we know that p1 minus p2 upon w is a difference of pressure heads at section 1 and 2 that is h put this value go through this continuity equation again put the value of v1 in the above equation substituting this value we get this particular equation discharge q is equal to a1 a2 upon square root in the square root a1 square minus a2 square multiplied by under root 2gh this equation 4 gives a discharge under ideal conditions and this discharge is the theoretical discharge okay then add the constant of venturometer over here the q actual is cd into the same equation a1 upon a2 upon under root of a1 square minus a2 square into under root 2gh where cd is called as a coefficient of venturometer and this cd value is always less than 1 or 1 actual discharge which is less than the theoretical discharge always and this h value we can find this h value we can find out uh, where we require for under root 2gh this is the equation for this these are the two different conditions cases we are going to study this two uh, differential equation uh, differential manometer from this we can find out this height okay the specific gravity of that liquid and specific gravity of water that we can find out okay. these are the reference books for you solve some more problems on this